Hi, I'm Vicky. Welcome back to my channel. This is part three of making a Halloween dress. So even though the dress is in pieces here, part two will already be up and you would have seen how this has all been finished. In this video, I'm going to show you how I'm going to style the wig to go with it. And then I'll show you the finished look. Okay, so I've got an idea for this wig and I've got no idea if it's going to work or not. So I'm going to film what I'm doing and hopefully it will turn out like it is in my head. So this is a lace front wig made from heat resistant hair. I got it on eBay, I think it was about $40, it wasn't hugely expensive. Um, I didn't want to spend a lot of money on it because of what I'm going to do to it. So the first thing I'm going to do is set it on these rollers, which are just Velcro rollers that I've taken the Velcro off. I've got loads of these curlers, these are all the same size, they're about three centimetres across. So I'm going to put these in and steam it and set it. Then my plan for this wig is to yeah, give it a sort of 20s, 30s, sort of waved vibe but then what I want to do is set it so it's really really solid and then cover it in black crystals so I want to create a wig that's yeah really set and styled and then completely covered in black sparkles so um whether it works or not we'll see I've heard that either Mod Podge or PVA can be used to set it as well um I've been googling and I haven't really found out much about it so I'm going to get to the point where it's set into the style that I want and then I'll um, figure out how to do the next bit. So it's going to be a bit of a journey and who knows if it will work or not, but I'm going to give it a go and try and bring the vision in my head to life. So the first thing I'm going to do is put all my curlers in and I'm going to hold them in place with these really long dressmaking pins. All right, I think I'm done. So this is how it looks with the curlers in. I've changed the parting from the center to the side. Next, I'm gonna use steam to set the curls into place. So I'm just using my regular clothing steamer. And then I'm going to put a bag over it to keep the steam in. All right, so my steam is nice and steamy. So I'm going to steam around the wig really, really well, making sure it goes inside the curlers as well. So you want to steam from the inside and the outside to make sure it's really set. That's why rollers with holes in are the best way to set synthetic wigs because you want the steam to get to all of the hair yeah these are just cheap velcro rollers i found the velcro just stuck to the hair really badly and then someone suggested to me taking the velcro off and it's worked perfectly so you end up with just like the sort of plastic cage of the curler underneath it and it allows the steam to get through it it's a bit trickier to put in because the hair doesn't grip like it does with the velcro on but honestly, I tried a couple and the Velcro just stuck to the hair so bad, it just, it was impossible. It just turned into a frizzy, knotty mess. So, it's 
so it might take a little longer to get the um, curlers in. Um, you can buy those um, wireframe rollers, I think they've got little bristles on, but they're really expensive and I didn't want to spend that much money, so this is my budget alternative. Now I've got this wig sort of nice and steamed just doing this. I'm going to put the bag over it and then put the steamer up inside it and fill the whole bag with steam. And then I'm going to leave the bag on to let it cool. And then I normally do this twice, so I'll just fill it with steam. You can feel how hot it's getting as you're doing it. So it's, it's warming up really nicely. So it's creating a little beautiful steamy environment for it in there. So I'm going to let that cool for an hour or so. And then I'm going to do it again just to make sure it's really well set and then leave it for another couple of hours to cool down completely before I take the curlers out. So my wig has had two steamings and I've put it outside. I let it cool in the bag and then I've put it outside in the sun because it's a beautiful hot day outside today and it's completely dry. So next I'm going to take the curlers out and as I take the curlers out, I'm just going to give it a little spray with this super firm hairspray. I find that it can be quite slippery because it's super shiny hair because it's quite a cheap wig, so hairspray just gives it a little bit of grip. Next, I'm just gonna start gently brushing it and try and get some sort of nice finger wave shapes in it, and I'm gonna hold them with these little silver clips, which I just get on eBay, they're really cheap. Cool, that's starting to do the kind of thing that I want it to do. You can see I've got this nice wave coming down the front here and then I've managed to clip that up into this little curl. I'm liking how this is starting to go. It's starting to get the shapes that I want. I think I'm actually going to take all of this out and just give it a back, bit of back combing because I think that's just going to help hold everything where I need it to hold. And then I'm going to repin it pretty much like I've done here. But a bit bigger. I think it needs a bit more height here and through the back. So I'm going to take all this out. I'm going to take a photo of, of I'm going to take some photos, take all this out and give it a back comb and see if I can get these shapes in even better.
Okay, I think I'm finally kind of happy with it. So I'm gonna give it a really good hairspray and let that dry. So this is my finished wig with the clips taken out. I've ended up just putting tons of hairspray on rather than using the glue or something to set it with. Um, and I, it's actually firm enough, I think. So the next thing I'm gonna do is start adding crystals. So to add the crystals to the wig, I'm using the same crystals as I used on the dress. So I've got sizes, 16, 20, 30, and 34 in flat back crystals. I've got my E6000 Fabrifuse, and I've got my little wax pencil thing again. And now what I'm thinking is I wanna use the crystals to really enhance these sort of curves and the flow here. That's the idea, is to really enhance these curves here. So I'm thinking if I now start the next row here, that'll bring that swoop coming back that way. So remember to do all your hairspraying before you put crystals on, because if you hairspray after the crystals are on, it will dull them, you'll lose all your sparkle. Okay, so here's where I am up to with the crystals so far. So you can sort of see that I'm fading them out. So starting with the big ones on the outside of the curves and then fading them inwards. And I've used all four sizes of crystals on there. I'm really happy with how it's starting to look. I would say that if you are gonna try this, make sure your wig's as smooth as possible because all these little flyaway hairs, which have now got a hairspray on and that are sticking up, they um, make it quite hard to put the crystals on if they're in the wrong place and they make the crystals sort of bounce off from where you want it. I'm really happy with how it's looking. So I'm gonna carry on and keep crystalling until it's completely covered. So it's done. This is the finished wig with all of the crystals on. I've trimmed away some of those flyaway hairs as well. So I've got it heavy sort of down the front on those wavy parts and then I've just scattered some crystals through the back just so it's got some sparkle all the way around. You can see I've sort of concentrated it on the front part there. Tried to make sure it looks really good from every angle. I think the black on black just works beautifully. And there it is from the front. I don't know how long this wig will last because I've only hairsprayed it, I didn't set it and obviously I can't wash it and reuse it now, I've glued crystals all over it so hopefully it'll last a good few wears, it's not something I'm going to wear to like crazy nights out or anything like that. Yeah, I completely love the results, absolutely love the results so really pleased with how this has turned out. So I'm going to go and do my makeup now and put the dress and the wig on and I'll be back to show you the finished look. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've really enjoyed watching me make the dress and the wig and then put the whole look together. So for my makeup, I went for this kind of 20s gothic doll kind of look. So I use mainly, for my eyes, I use mainly the um, 
BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil palette. I used the black and the oranges from that. Um, I used a Colourpop I Think I Love You palette, the black and the sort of shimmery whites from that. And then my lipstick is Mamacita by Colourpop as well. So this is my finished look. I love it. I absolutely love how it's all come together. I love having the crystals on the wig matching the dress too. It's really it's really different to anything I've done before. The dress is quite different to my normal style as well because I've got the sort of stretch velvet top rather than a corseted dress. And I love it. I think I'm going to make myself a short version of this to wear because I think it's super cute. So thanks again for watching. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already and you like what I'm doing. And I'll be back soon with a new video.